Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the last video, we discussed components and their types. Today we will see what forms are in Dynamics 365 and what are their types. Let's get started. From the sales view, select the settings gear icon from the right top corner. Now in this option set, select the advanced settings. From the settings menu, select solutions. As you can see, the solution we were working on in the last video can be seen here. Simply open it. In our solution, we added three components in the last video. Now we are going to configure forms inside the custom entity. First, we need to know what a form is. So basically, in Dynamics there are 65 cells. Forms provide the user interface that people use to interact with the data they need to do their work. When you click on the form, you will notice that there are default forms. To create your form, click on the new button. Now you can see here that there are four options. So in Dynamics 365, there are four types of forms, main form, quick view form, quick create form, and card form. We will interact with them one by one. Let's start with the main form. The main forms are the primary user interface where people view and interact with their data. You can add and remove subcomponents inside of your main form. The next one is the quick view form. Basically, a quick view form can be added to another form as a quick view control. It provides a template to view information about a related entity record within a form for another entity record. We can also add and remove subcomponents in the quick view form. The third is the quick create form. A quick create form appears when you select the create button in the navigation bar or when you choose plus new when creating a new record from a lookup or subgrid. And the last one is card form. Card forms are the latest example of Microsoft's providing new ways to display information to users and for users to interact with that information. This is most helpful for mobile apps, where horizontal space tends to be more limited than vertical pixel availability. Now we will practically see how you can interact with all these forms. What is the working process of all these forms? For that, navigate back to the dynamic CRM interface. You will now see all these forms in the account entity. Now open the account entity. So, in the account entity, as you can see, I have created a sample record. Let me open this. This is displayed here, where you can see all the data regarding the sample account. That is the main form of the account entity. Now, from the right side, you can see a panel for the primary contact. This is an example of a quick view form. It displays quick data regarding the related entity. Click related, then contact, and then new contact to access the quick create form. Now you see, after clicking on new contact, a form pops up from the right side. It will create contact without asking unwanted questions. That is why it is known as Quick Create. As I have created a sample record, you can see that it has been displayed in this view. From the timeline, you can see there is an entity record appointment. When you open this, it will show you the main form of the appointment. But now that it is showing some limited details of its, that's why it's known as card form. So today we have seen the form and its type and we have also practically interacted with them. So in our next video, we will see what is filed and viewed and how you can attach them to your form. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Please do like and share the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.